Okay, now Google has already pushed out two iterations of Android 14 developer preview. And here are some of the new features you guys should know. First new feature is predictive back animations. This feature was announced by Google some time ago. And now on this developer preview 2, the feature is working on the settings menu. Now for this feature to work, you need to first enable developer options. You can do that by going to settings, tap on about phone, all the way down you will find build number. You have to continuously keep tapping on this build number until it says developer option is enabled. Once it's enabled, you can just search for predictive back animations. You will find the settings and just enable the toggle. For comparison, I got the Pixel 6a on the right hand side on which the developer preview 2 Android 14 is running. And on the left hand side, I got the Pixel 7 Pro, which is running on Android 13 stable. Now let me just show you how this predictive back animations work. Let's go to settings on both the phones. I just tap on network and internet. Now I just use this back gesture. I just swipe from the right to the left. As you can see on the previous version, nothing happens. But on the Android 14, before even you go to the previous page, you can see that animation which shows which page you are going to land on. As you can see, I can just swipe this and see what's in the background or what is the previous page. And if you don't want to go to the previous page, again, you can come back to the current page. Now this is working currently on the settings menu. This feature will be really useful for multitasking if it supports all the third party applications or at least the system applications from Google. This will be really, really useful. Now the next change is this back gesture indicator. As you can see, when you swipe to go back, we just had an arrow indicator in the previous version and now we have got the small tiny capsule kind of a design on which the arrow is shown. This is the second change we have got on Android 40. Now let's go to settings and go to security and privacy. As you can see on the previous version on Android 13, we had these drop down menus in some of these options. Whereas now on Android 14, we have got the page views. We will have to tap on each option to go to the next page. And you can also see this overview image which is showing on the Android 14. Now the next feature is in accessibility settings. Let me go to accessibility on both these phones on the settings menu. As we scroll down under audio, we have got an all new option, flash notifications, which is not there in the previous version as you can see. Now let me tap on flash notification. It says flash the camera light or the screen when you receive notifications or when alarm sounds. This feature is already there on the Samsung Galaxy phones. And now we have got this on Android 14 on Google Pixels. Uh, we can enable camera flash notification or screen flash notification, which when enabled flashes the screen or flashes the camera flash whenever you receive a new notification. If you are selecting the screen flash notification, then you can also choose the color that you want. This is finally there on Android 14 on the Pixel phones. Now let's go to system settings on both the phones. Let's tap on languages and input. As you can see on Android 14, we have got an all new option here called regional preferences. Set units and number preferences. Let me just tap on this. Here it says, let apps know your regional preferences so they can personalize your experience. We have got temperature units, first day of the week and numbers. Depending on your region, you can select the one you want. This should enable the other applications on your phone to use the same preferences. Now let's go to home screen and press and hold on the home screen. Let me tap on wallpaper and style. Now here, under basic colors, we've got an all new monochrome option here, which wasn't there on the previous version. Any wallpaper you set, you will be able to see this particular option on Android 14. Now let's scroll down. As you can see, we've got an all new option here, clock settings. It says pick a custom clock. As of now, this feature is not working. Perhaps in the next developer preview, we should be able to see some clock options here to customize it. That's a cool customization option we have. Now let's go up and tap on change wallpaper. Let's select a particular wallpaper here. I'll select this one here. As you can see, we directly enter into a preview mode when you select a wallpaper. Whereas on the previous version, we have got few options at the bottom like delete and then eye icon to see some details about this particular wallpaper. Then we can tap on this expand button to see the preview on the home screen, how it's going to look. And then we have this option to select this wallpaper. This is on Android 13. Whereas on Android 14, we've got set wallpaper option on the top right corner. And we also have a couple of more options. We've got that delete button here. If you have already downloaded this wallpaper, you will see this delete option or it will show you download option. Then we have got this eye icon now on the top right corner. Basically, you will directly enter into a preview when you select a particular wallpaper. 
These are some of the important changes that we can notice on Android 14. Let me know what do you think about it. This is still in the initial stage with some features. We are going to see many more features coming up in the next developer preview and the beta versions. I will keep you guys posted about all the new features that you're going to get on Android 14. Most of the feature will also come to the other OEMs like Samsung, OnePlus and many other phones. So stay tuned for all the new features that we are going to get. We get to see all this on Pixel first. Let me keep you guys posted about all that. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salia. I'm signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.